so I have one project here which is developed using Next.js framework and this is one of the route as you can see the folder structure app API and inside API I have got protected folder and then there is this endpoint okay so I can invoke this endpoint as a slash API slash protected so by default what happens is that all the API routes are basically running on the node runtime that is the default runtime okay node runtime so what it means is that all the node.js native libraries are available and basically you can use those libraries in this route or a node in node.js runtime but if you want to use the age runtime you can do that by exporting this constant called as runtime with value age so what this statement does is that it basically tells that this particular route needs to be executed the code in this particular file needs to be executed using age runtime age runtime what it means is that only the libraries that are compatible with age runtime can be used in this file if you set the runtime to each it also means that all the native node.js libraries are not compatible so you can't use native node.js libraries when you set the runtime to each so if I comment this line so right now it is running in node runtime and I'm gonna access this endpoint so I just refresh this API slash protected and it should send this data to us okay this particular JSON response no problem at all but if I set it to the age runtime then what happens is that since we are using this auth here so basically behind the scene auth is actually dependent upon mongodb and lots of other libraries okay which are not compatible with each and that's why when you try to access this endpoint api slash protected it will throw error so i'm just gonna hit that endpoint again so this time around we should get an error which says that you can see the error is coming from this mongodb module or the package it is saying that model not found cannot resolve crypto the reason being this particular crypto model which is being used by the mongodb this model is actually a node.js model which is not compatible with azure runtime and that's why you can't use it so that is one of the drawback of uh, Azure runtime like you can't use the native node.js models but there are lots of other compatible models that you can use the benefit of using the age runtime is that this particular code will be deployed on the age servers and the response that the clients will be getting is very faster as compared to the node runtime because in the node runtime what happens is that the code is deployed in a specific region so for example in AWS there are a specific region right Asia then America so if someone is trying to access uh, the server from Australia to say US so th that takes a lot of time right there is a lot of latency so all the request has to go to that American server but if you use the age runtime what happens is that there are lots of age servers which are not specific to the region and if the say request is originating in Australia there may be a age server in Australia itself okay and that is gonna send the response so a latency is very low in that case that's it if you have more questions let me know the comments